So now I gotta make sure that the mic works because I can fix the camera in like two seconds because the mic is being bad. So bad. Don't know why it's being so bad, but it's being bad. Very, very bad. It's being bad. Being bad. Being bad. All I want to do is see if any of my stuff it plays and it says it kind of works. Look at and I'm hearing the thingy over Did you, there. Tyson? Shh, be quiet. I'll listen to it on the phone. I'm gonna figure out what's up with this mess. Why I can never seem to get it to behave itself. Really? I'm showing that it's outputting audio. I'm not hearing any audio. That's why I'm trying to verify this. <sighs> Come on. Come on. I don't know. It says... Someone, if anyone is paying it, I don't forget it. I don't know if anyone wants to be. I need to know if it, if there's sound coming through or not. I understand this camera is messed up, but this is like a that's a two second fix. The microphone seems to be a problem. This is just a. I need to hit configure video and uh, take off true color. Hit default. Take off true color. Put the exposure way down. There we go. Yeah, see that that's an easy fix. I can camera's not that bad. Not being able to hear me, that's a problem. Alright. Okay, I think it is actually working now, so I can go ahead and Oh good, we can start now. I'm so happy. S starting is good. I like starting. Starting is my favorite thing ever. Okay. Finally, okay. So D. Because this is one of those nights where I think it's gonna require a few cups of tea. This is probably gonna be a three kettle night, which means I'm gonna probably make another kettle. But oh well. Um, if anyone was around and enjoyed me last night, um, I did some World of Warcraft. Tonight we're going back to regular felting. It's the uh, felting Friday, because that that's what I do. Um, and then maybe some jewelry making later. I don't know. I have felting needles. One thing I did want to talk about is um, the possibility of doing a felt along, which I think would be totally fun. If I move this, oh, hell is going to break loose. Oh, poor camera. You're in a horrible location. I have to hide you now. <laughs> We're just going to pretend he's not there. Poor camera. Hey! Well, we can talk about the 1990s quality camera, not because it matters, but more because it's um, the shittiest internet in the entire world. And the only reason that I'm even capable of streaming at the moment is because I currently have an advanced bridge connected between this and my, con my cell phone's data plan and my completely shitty ass DSL. Otherwise, you don't get anything at all. So that's kind of where we have to sit with it. Um, if I didn't live at the bottom of a mud hole in the middle of the country, in the middle of nowhere, um, I would be able to stream at full uh, 1080p or higher or full 4K because I would be able to. So there's no point in even transferring out um, shitty camera for something better than that, uh, which, by the way, this, this is configured to set up. So if you really want to, I can go here, but it's not going to help anything. I'm in the United States and Indiana, but unfortunately our county doesn't see fit to put in infrastructure, which I can get into an entire discussion on that if you'd like to talk about it. Um, but like I said, this is what's going to be replaced with if I can ever get good internet connectivity, um, which will probably be, I have 15 hours of good internet every month. That's it. After that, I blow through my data plan and I am capped at 600. 
And once I'm capped at 600 megabaud, this is what you got to deal with. Um, I do want to do a felt along. Felt along has to be, like I was going to say, beginning of the month. Um, because that's when I still have my full 4G connectivity and I can tr and I can stream at, you know, I can, I can stream at 720, 1080p when I have good connectivity. But unfortunately, this is what we got to do. Um, because I do literally live in the bottom of a hole. So it's either run it off my cell phone and tap into the cell towers or um, suffer along with dealing with AT&T's uh, shitty ass copper DSL. Not Xfinity. We don't even get Xfinity. We should. The people behind us can get it. Problem is, um, the way they look at it is they go by where your mailbox is located. And since our mailbox is on the top of the hill and we're in the middle of a field and the people behind us are on the other side of the field, they go by our mailbox and not by where we're physically located from the lines. So, yeah. But, um, no, um, if it ever happens, I have a really nice DSLR, I, I'm, and I have some really good software that can stream through the DSLR. Unfortunately, not something that can um, happen at the moment, so we, we deal with this. And, uh, you know, it's, it's here, it's there. I'm about a, I end up being approximately a minute, a minute and a half behind, um, as long as the phone is um, limping. Oh no, it's, it's it's totally 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 true. Um, hey, how you doing, Heart Beast? Apparently, we are also discussing tonight the uh, the lack of internet quality that uh, comes with living in the middle of nowhere in a county doesn't care, which is ridiculous. Because if you want to know the, the the fact of the matter in this, um, when we lived in Bloomington, because we we just we moved we bought our house in Lawrence County because I mean we paid cash ninety grand for a house. So it's really not not that bad a deal. Um, plus the fact that I can have my goats and my sheep, and you know where I get all my raw materials. But internet can be rough. So we had internet, and according to the map, it said that we had high speed internet available to us before we moved in, which is why we went ahead and got the place. What they neglected to say in the map is that they consider high speed internet by the federal government's regulations of what is considered high speed, which means anything faster than three megabaud a second. Which, according to AT&T, they're capable of supplying us up to five, but that is also a dirty, dirty, rotten lie because the best I've ever gotten is 1.5 ever. So. But yeah, no, I I can uh, I'm I'm I, I'm taking I'm currently taking Cisco classes up in Bloomington. We're sponsored by the fiber company. Um, when I was in Bloomington, we had fiber dropped right to our house, which I miss dearly. Yeah, I know. I used to get I I, I used to have a fiber drop to my house. You know, I I used to have gigabit. Ether. I mean that that was I mean when I lived out in Hollywood, I mean we had. We had gigabit Ethernet at our house in Bloomington, and, and we were in the country still. It's just that um, Smithville ran it to where we were located up in Bloomington, but they have one of those unspoken um, uh, non-compete clauses in this area of Lawrence County with AT&T because at the time, AT&T was handling all the landlines. Um, unfortunately, right now, AT&T refuses to upgrade or add new people to the landline, so I'm really hoping that that... Uh, that agreement is now null and void because they're not servicing their area anymore. Um, they're trying to force everyone to move over to cell phones and data t and data plans, but then they also refuse to actually put a tower, uh, actually an antenna up on the cell tower. Um, and there's been all kinds of interesting rumors going around about their reasons behind that. Um, one of the ones was, yeah, I know, I hate all of you. You're all horrible people. No, not really. Um, yeah, the. Uh, one of the, the supposed reasonings was that um, it was a Verizon tower and therefore AT&T couldn't put any antennas on it, which is nonsense because it's a Skyway tower and anyone can put an antenna on it. I can put an antenna on it, which I've considered. Um, we've been talking to people that have WISPs. We've been talking to people um, that run um, uh, wide area networks, uh, you know, large wire wireless WANs, WISPs, microwave technology, um, possibly seeing how large of a tower we'd have to put on top of our house to tap into AT&T's rural, rural technology. Um, we had inquired about the, uh, I believe, I, th I want to say the Comcast, oh, was, is Comcast Xfinity? I think it's Comcast. Com Comcast has it. 
Yeah, I would have to buy many antennas. We're trying to figure out how far down in the hole we are. I mean, we, we've actually done these calculations where it's like, okay, I'm line of sight to the Springville Tower they just put in. We just put a brand new cell phone tower up off the highway in Springville, which is awesome. And I'm literally line of sight. I can see it from my house. I'm not under the penumbrum. Um, because Verizon just put it on the tower, which is why I know for a fact I can get full 4G at the house, is because when I'm at the top of my data plan, I get the full 4G. Um, the problem is that I only have an allotment of 15 gigabytes a, m uh, a month to tether on, and I te I've been doing a burn in this month to see how much that actually is. And streaming on that connection, I run out of internet um, bandwidth in about three days. So I have approximately 15 hours, give or take. I have 15, you know, three to three to four days. So I, I run through about um, about a gig an hour on stream. So, you know, it, it that that's what my my uh, my burnout is, depending on the quality. Now, what I probably will do is try to lower quality and conserve bandwidth, and then see how long I can make it go for next month. But in the meantime, um, it's trying to figure out, you know, cost over, uh, cost over quality and how much uh, we can afford to use. I mean, I can play World of Warcraft just fine on my DSL. <laughs> Not really. Um, but uh, for trying to do anything else, it's kind of a nightmare. But for that beautiful few hours I get at the beginning of the month, it's wonderful. But yeah, so tonight's tonight's goal is to uh, finish Purple People Eater, drink lots of tea, and apparently bitch buddy TNT, and how horrible they are, and how mean. But I'm glad you guys decided to stop by. And yeah, I mean, if you want to, yeah, I, I have no problem. I can bitch about internet forever. I was a uh, I was a data administrator out in in Hollywood. That's not everywhere, though. I mean, when I, I had, like I said, I had a fiber drop to my house in Bloomington, and that's less than 15 minutes from here. So we moved 15 minutes south the next county over, and we went from having literal, like, 100, 100 um, what do we have? We had 50 gigabit to the house. I know if you're like, oh, I have, I have a, someone, someone was, I know, yeah, you, you're, you're going, I have a, I have a 100 megabaud. Awesome. We had 50 gig drop fiber. Because we were running, um, uh, we were running someone's servers out of, out of the house, so we had a client actually pay for it. But seriously, 50, 50 gig pipe was just brilliant. Uh, which is why you know we're getting to that point where it's like, do we stay here and do we try to figure out ways around the internet issue, or do we sell the house and move? And that's kind of what the in and out is. Um, they were offering 50 gig for, I want to say about 150 a month. So that's when you, when you consider that it's really wasn't bad. And then when we switched back to regular where it's like a, I want to say a five or 10 gig connection is more the, the more standard, um, uh, consumer grade connection. It was still like f maybe 50. It wasn't that expensive at all. Um, compared to how much, I mean, we're, we pay $52 a month for a meg. Think about that. Meg. Um, I was paying Comcast, I think, $36 a month back in Savannah for 15 So the... <laughs> it, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's just, and it's just the area. It's just simply because the area, the way that the infrastructure is just not set up. And it's totally fixable stuff. It's, it's things that the technology is totally there for. Hell, my husband worked on some of the technology um, that the military is using to get internet to, like, the middle of Afghanistan. So, I mean, it's like, you know, it's not that it's not possible. It's that it, this this is dumb. Like, oh, hell, Hackers for Charity was able to get Potato and Mesh Network set up. Um, potatoes was able to get Tater Network set up in Uganda for schools in rural Uganda. So, I mean, come on. Um, you're capable of doing this in, in what's still considered a third world country, and we can't even get that in rural America. And that was a large discussion that we had had, I think, last night, too, where um, Brazil and uh, um, quite a few other countries are way, way, way farther ahead of us in, in Internet infrastructure than the U.S. is. And, um, you know, I don't think that we realize just how far behind we actually are lagging when it comes to these types of technologies.
Yeah, but that and I'm I'm thinking forty pounds seems about fair. I'd have to go check to see what our exchange rate is to really get a feel for that. But yeah, I mean it's just Oh no, there it's 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 rough, and and the, the problem is we've we've seriously discussed starting our own ISP because we have all the equipment. I mean, we have all the equipment, all the knowledge. Like I said, I'm I'm working on my Cisco certification, my CCNA, and my husband does advanced networking, and he used, he used to work in data centers out in Los Angeles and stuff. I mean, we we could legitimately start our own ISP. The problem is because AT and T's in the area, AT and T noto is notorious for suing the pants off of people that um, they when they want to enforce a non-compete, even though they're not actually um, taking care of the systems that are out here and taking care of the customers. But even but even then, if you're saying you're, you're getting a hundred a hundred megabaud for for fifty six is not bad, that that's still very reasonable um, pricing, very very reasonable, um, and that's that's probably about right for what we'd pay here if we were in town. So it it really has more to do with that we're not we're not in town. We're we're in the middle of. Uh, I mean, it's it's beautiful, and if you've seen some of my other videos and some other streams that I've done. Um, like I said, I'm in, I do live in, the, I literally live in the middle of a field, but I do get to have my animals and it's very pretty. And that is kind of part of, you know, what comes along with living out in the country is sometimes you just got to suck it up. So, oh, no, competition would be excellent for business unless you're Ma Bell. Ma Bell doesn't like competition. Ma Bell never likes competition. Good old Ma Bell. Yeah, there it, it's there's a lot of issues with internet right now. Although um, they did just pass some stuff on the federal level that's supposed to be helping push for more infrastructure because when they initially passed the um, uh, the some we have, we have certain taxes that go on our lines that AT and T still collects every month. We get um, a certain uh, FCC fee that gets collected from us that's supposed to be for putting in um, and advancing rural internet. The problem is that at and defines rural as, oh, well, we went to Bedford, therefore it's rural. Yeah. <laughs> I remember in, when uh, Venice Beach was like that, when I worked at Digital Domain, um, we were right in the water and, and Southern California, it doesn't rain often, but when it does, it pours. So I worked out at DD um, overnight running the render farm. And um, it was always a nightmare when it rained because literally as soon as they got too much water down underneath the streets where all the utilities were, we would lose power, we would lose internet, we would lose everything. And my job was to be you know, managing the, uh, we, were, we were managing renders mostly at the time, and we were between the two buildings, and so when networking would go out, it was just a nightmare, and um, when power would go out, I mean, we caught, we caught the commercials building um, server room on fire once, not not that we didn't catch it, the, uh, just that there was fa failures, and literally, um, stuff like blew up, like they, like they blew up a, uh, we lost a battery backup, it, it actually overheated and started smoking, and we had to evacuate the building at like two o'clock in the morning and call in, you know, our head of IT and stuff and um, the fire department. And uh, which sucked is because that puts production at a halt. So. Yeah, so we had all kinds of all kinds of stuff. But it's not all that bad. I ha I do have a laptop, and um, I do have a couple other locations that I can stream from. I'm just trying to decide if I want to, because I mean, like right now, my kidlet's in the next room over playing Minecraft. So at least I know she's close by, and I can kind of keep half an eye on her, at least an ear out for her. I keep I keep meaning to fix this cropping so that the camera is not visible, but I keep not doing it. There we go to go over here. We're gonna go here. Uh, there you go. 
don't need to see all the stuff on that side. Maybe you do. There's a duck behind me. You can't, I don't know, you can probably hear him. He's quacking. But yeah. Because he quacks. There are some huge fields next to me. Problem is they are all separated into small squares. And they have barbed wire fence and some of the fence broke. So I tried to get in the if I if so if I try to get in there it would poke up my my tires yes that's right tires in a heartbeat oh goodness you well you you can see the duck if you want to see the duck um, the ducks in inside because he's injured my dog's got a hold of his beak and so he's missing a bit of the front so if you don't mind just so you know little warning um, Okay, we'll see the duck. The rooster's out in the, in the chicken coop. I can go get Carl if you guys really want. Yeah, I know. Well, they're terriers, effectively. They're, they're schnauzes, so... Dogs. But, all right, fine, we'll get duck. The people want to see you, so you've been requested to come out, which means on the plus side, you can stay out for a bit until you stretch your wings. Are we okay with that? dance over there all you want in a minute, okay? Just ignore that. Just ignore it. Can we name him Little Pump? Okay, now, now we have to calm down the duck. I just need to have a duck cam. Hold on, we're gonna. You wanna come over here where they can at least see you? Okay. Nice to see you guys hop it in. I'm, you know, and, uh, you got to see uh, you see Keith, <laughs> Keith the duck. Wait, no, he's um. Keith. It's a nice spot there. You just, no, it's okay. You chill there. Here, look. Here, you like the you like the the heat. Here you go. There. Enjoy the sunshine. I know you'll like that. Carl is gorgeous, um, but Carl's out in this coop right now, so he's not probably going to be... What on earth are you doing? Stretch. You're fine. You stretch your wings. Have fun. You don't have to go back in there right away. I know it, I, can, I need to clean it out anyway. But you wagging your butt. He's a good boy. No, Carl's not going to be a fine piece of KF nothing, because Carl's awesome, and I love him. Cole, you, I, you need to go back downstairs, please. Anyway. 
back to back to stabby stabbies. Apparently, apparently we have a duck tonight, so we're we're gonna go ahead and share a stream and add that Keith the duck is visiting. Felting Friday with with Keith the duck. That's what we got now. Share the stream. Have you tweeted out the stream yet? Keith. Oh my goodness. E I Keith with Keith the duck. So I before E should be I E. It's Keith. No, E I looked better. You're Keith. There you go. Oh God, yeah, no, the the it's definitely tastes much better. In fact, we we did rabbits today actually. Um, I just got back from um, from butchering a, a bunch of uh, of uh, broilers and and grow outs. Oh, I don't know where my monkey hat's going. I think it needs to be there. Oh, also, um, have you guys tried the uh, the exclamation point dance yet? Oh yeah, yeah, no, it, and and that's totally totally true too. The um, just the yeah, there you go. Just the the overall uh, quality of the uh, of the animal is is just amazing when you have the when you have the home <laughs> the homegrown versus so I'm working on, on building uh, Maggie over there into a proper stream pet so right now she's only got a couple commands because I've only animated so much because I, I I hand drew that, so that's all hand hand animated. Oh God! Well, it de it also depends on the breed of chicken. Um, the type of breed you normally get in a commercial chicken um, is um, they use typically the uh, bro broiler bred breeds, which are barred rock or which are, are white rocks crossed with uh, Cornish game hen. And um, when you have that combination, it, they're very sturdy. Um, I think I still have one of those. I think I still have one of those breeds in the uh, in the freezer downstairs because we raised a couple last year. But even even then, even if it's the same breed as the commercial breeds, the the flavor you get out of them from home raised versus farm raised is incredible. Mainly because when you're raising them at home, you can control their diet better. Um, the birds are more relaxed for the most part because you know it's they're not crowded um i know my like my eggs like if you try if you have my eggs versus what you get from like a, like the store which is ridiculous because it's like the store bought eggs are so cheap it's like they're i think they're two dollars a dozen or something or, or a buck fifty a dozen you're just gonna make a big i know you get to stretch the wings it's nice you didn't get to go out yesterday you're right out today there you go enjoy yourself if you're really lucky, I'll let you have a shower later. He loves showers. It's really cute. I almost just want to move duck cam. There. We're just going to have duck cam. <laughs> no, Cole. We're having duck cam. Trying to get these feet balanced up. I actually, I'm not. I just kind of like, kind of like where the feet are going right now too. Not, don't know. Just need to tighten them. He's not big. He's a little tiny duck compared to my other ducks. I have Peking ducks outside. He's a Khaki Campbell. Um, I had two Khaki Campbells. Uh, something got the female. I don't know if it was an owl or a hawk or. Um, something else, and then I just had the male left, and I threw him in with the Pekings, uh, as I have 13 Peking ducks, two males, and uh, 11 females. Well, no, the Pe the Pekings are, eat are more eaten ducks. Um, Khaki Campbells don't typically get bigger than four pounds. You really want them, I mean, you can eat them, they're multi-purpose, but they're more, they're more of a, uh, an egg duck. Um, because the the females are really really good egg producers, um, 
but my my peaking surprisingly they're i mean they're laying they're, they're they've started laying already which is kind of surprising because it's like the middle of winter here but there's like eggs everywhere outside it's ridiculous if you walk around another pen there's just like they just like randomly plop eggs out but yeah so um so this dude he had a mate and i was gonna breed khaki campbells and then i lost her but I kept him because I figured this year I could replace I, I'd replace her with uh, with another one um, when spring comes and I can get ducklings again. And I was gonna um, I was gonna sell the other ducks duck eggs I was hoping anyway, but I don't have any clientele so I don't know. But no, yeah, the Pekings get big. I mean, they they'll they'll average six pounds or more before you butcher them. And then I, I got New Zealand white rabbits, and they also get very big. Um, they'll they'll get up to 12 to 15 pounds full grown. So we did a couple of um, a broilers today, which are the older ones. And uh, I kept them because I I do tan the hides. But yeah, the uh... silly bird. But not not everything here is edible. Some things are just pets. Like Carl's a pet, and uh, Allie's a pet, and Adrian's a pet, and so the 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 older ones that we use as breeders are mainly are more 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 or less pets because you know if that's their they're they're putting back they're 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 working they're putting back into the farm. And chickens, roosters. We'll, um, I, I'll sell them off when they're younger. Sometimes they go off to uh, other flocks, and sometimes they, they go to, um, they go to the, the kettle. So it depends. And then um, uh, everyone's, the, and the mean, mean ones we eat, that's, that is kind of the rule here, though, is I don't, I don't like keeping mean roosters, um, which is also why the, uh, <clears throat> and nailed myself. <laughs> Which is also why the um, uh, what's it called? The oh, the frizzle, stupid ass little cochran, co co cochran, cochran, whatever the fuzzy, the fuzzy chicken. He's a fuzzy bantam frizzled black rooster, and he's got an attitude problem. So he likes to attack me every single time I try to go feed him, and I'm like, I'm bringing you food. Stop being a jerk. He's very dumb. Actually, I'm working on making him a prosthetic beak. I might work on that on stream at some point. Um, I need to. G I, I took a mold of his beak, but I wanted to give him a couple more days for it to heal a little bit better before I went and tried to double check the mold, because I don't want to hurt him. And I really need to take a cast so I make sure it can fit. And then I'm going to go ahead and bake some Sculpey and see if I can reform a semblance of a prosthetic for that end. He seems to be eating okay, though. And that, that's my main concern, is making sure he can eat. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hmm? Yeah, we're we're in the middle of about a hundred acres or so. Um, so our neighbors are are nice enough; they let us run our our uh, sheep and goats with their cows in the summer. I should probably pop the other two open too. Kind of think of it. Mm. 
Yeah, it's good to have a. It's good to have room out in the country. You said, are, are you? You said uh, you are also UK along with uh, with Heartbeast. Okay. Well, that's cool. What time are, are you? Uh, you're, you're twelve hours ahead. Is it tomorrow morning, or or still like five a.m.? It's been a while since I've had to do that conversion. And then your latency is going to be even worse because you have to make it across transatlantic cable. If you're getting latency um, any less than, I think we figured, 250 um, millisecond, you're doing really good. Oh, cool. Okay, so you're five hours ahead then, I think, roughly five or six hours. Yeah, I think I think that sounds right because I when I was in Los Angeles, I think it was eight hours, and so that that should be right. The Greenwich Mean Time, Greenwich Greenwich Mean Time. Oh, cool! What are you studying in college? Oh, very fun. Do you know what, what your focus is going to be? Oh, you don't love it. Oh. You sure you want to keep doing it if you, if you, whoops, get over there. You sure you really want to keep doing it if you don't like it? That's one of those things where it's like, if you really hate it, maybe it might not be worth it because then you're just going to like not want to work because it'll be upsetting and annoying. Aw. Is there at least fun stuff you can do when you're done with it? I mean, like, sometimes the the initial college is, like, just horrible, but when you actually get out in the job market, it's not so bad. Well, you never know. I mean, there's some niche restaurants that have some pretty interesting little gimmicks going on so you might be able to engineer some things like desserts oh my god the amount of like engineering that goes into some of those those cakes is like ridiculous I don't know if you ever watched like Cake Boss or uh, uh, what is it the Australian show Zam Zambos something creations or something but there's like tons of like engineering that goes into these desserts now it's, it's insane I mean, I went to college for visual effects, and granted, I worked out in Hollywood, but I never actually worked in my field, which is always a fun thing to bring up. It's like, oh, how much are your student loans? A shit ton. And what have you actually done? Technically, I haven't. Technically, I've never actually had a job in my field. If I actually had a job in my field, I would have been doing art and films. I have never done art and films. I've always done networking and data workflow and backups and all the admitting and things that go along with the sysadmining computer parts which is obnoxious yeah well I ended up going back um, this year um, to take my to get classes to uh, up my certs so I'm gonna have my CCNA hopefully uh, I need to double I need to double down and get my security plus cert finished I need to take my LPIC 1 and 2, and then once that's all done... Ah, oh, I guess guys, actually, just about... Just about done on this dude. 
don't know if he'll stand on his own though. I don't think he's balanced enough for that. I wonder if I should make him a guitar. Now don't poop on things, please. How are you doing anyway, Keith? You're a good duck, Keith? Huh? Are you a good duck? do the details. Kids like breaking blocks over there in Minecraft like crazy. Do you want to come back over here? You just gonna sit there and poop my floor. You're just content to poop my floor. Oh my goodness. He's totally content just to poop my floor. It's like, nah, I'm just gonna go over here shitting. That's what I'm gonna do. Sit here and poop. Okay. Now, let's see. Next question is, um, what embellishments is this guy going to get? You guys have any ideas on uh, colors on this one? Like eyebrow color, horn second color, eyelash color, lip color, eye color, markings, tattoos.
Hmm. Where'd my black wool go? Keith, did you steal my wool? Keith didn't steal the wool. I had a dog when I was little, so don't ask me about anything related to plush toys. We could ask the duck. I'm pretty sure he's going to say quack. It's probably why he stole my black. Did you steal my black? You stole my black, didn't you, Keith? It's not very nice, Keith. It's not very nice at all, Keith. I expect more from you, duck. He did. He assassinated all of them. Oh, that's so bad. My dogs do that, too. Poor puppy. No, nope, that's attached to another project. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry I blamed you, Keith. You did not steal my wool. <laughs> that's more than I really need, though. I see a little piece. Quack, 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 quack. That's what he said. He said, quack, 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 quack. I think it's going to have yellow eyes. I think that's what it needs. It needs yellow. It needs yellow eyes. Oh, okay, good. I was getting scared for a second. I left my. I took all my scissors with me and didn't leave any for myself. My kid is ferociously, furiously breaking blocks in Minecraft in her room so loud that I can hear it in here. That's the other thing I need to do, is I need to get um, Minecraft uploaded to my server in Los Angeles so we can play. Okay, well, it was wonderful for you to stop by. Thank you very much. And if you want to try to do a felting, uh, felt along, I'm uh, planning one for the beginning of next month. And uh, just look for updates on that and just trying to see who's interested. But uh, yeah, thank, thank you very much for stopping in. I hope you guys have a great, uh, great rest of your day. Oops. Let me move it over here first.
Discord over here. Trying to just verify where I'm allowed to share streaming because not everyone lets you do that. Okay, I think that covers everybody. Yay. Oh. Oh. So yes, today is definitely, it is Felting Friday. Um, which is Fridays when I definitely felt. And other parts of the week where I sometimes felt. And yesterday I... I, I think I think I missed um I'm not really scheduled to to stream on uh on Wednesdays. My my main days are um my big day's Friday. <laughs> I'm supposed to be here on Friday. It's kinda like I have my agreement with me. So I am finishing up the purple people eater. Um, and there is a duck behind me that you will, are going to occasionally hear quack, and I may try to gently scoop him up again if he doesn't freak out. Whack. Keith, you, want, you can just come over here, Keith. I think Keith wants to play Minecraft. There's a, there's a duck behind me. Right there. <laughs> Stay camera. There's the legit, legit, legitimately is a duck. The uh, dogs had gotten a hold of him, so um, he uh, is missing part of his beak at the moment, which is unfortunate. Um, I might try to build him a prosthetic because it. He seems to be able to eat okay without it. But I'd feel better if he had a little, little something, something extra to kind of help him along. I just use white wool. I'm also testing out um, Giftbot in the channel a little bit. 
so if you uh, if you click um, exclamation point um, dance um, you should be able to get Maggie to dance and uh, there's no cooldown set on that at all so you can be totally obnoxious about it at least for the time being while it's in testing phase I'm planning on adding more dances to her repertoire and uh, then hopefully she'll be able to do a whole bunch of little dances by the time I'm done with her so I'm trying to think of what dances to add to what Maggie can do right now she just does like a little ballet spin I need darker. Oh my god. Oh, I think I have orange downstairs. I don't think I have it up here though. Ugly orange. I can make use of that, maybe. I want to do this, but I don't know if it's going to crash the system. I had more of those. I really did too. I really thought I had more of these. I had Capigen enabled. I apparently do not have Capigen enabled. Well, that's not cool. Need to fix that. 
course need to enable Capgen. Oh dear lord, yes. And I need to add like four more of them. Shh. So what are you doing? Shh, I'm doing things. I'm causing problems and hilarity is going to ensue. You gonna show me the horrors that you're gonna start? Well, I wanna test it first. You know, these are the kind of things you need to test first. Testing all the things. What are you doing? Testing all the things! Test all the things. I don't know, I should have done a thing. Didn't do a thing. That's no cool. It's not cool if you don't do a thing. I could hope. I'm going back to felting because it's more fun. I'm pretty sure it's not. It's just... Well, well, sometimes it smells. Farms do that. And it's wheelchair accessible if you use very big wheelchair taros. Which is not a lie. We, we could totally do that. It would be
Oh, it's 8 p.m. here. I have a song completely stuck in my head and I'm like tempted to just play it. Oh god! I mean, it's not gonna leave and I have to play it. It was that hot in here. This camera makes me look really pink. It's just the lighting. Oh, I want to hug you so badly, probability. I want to hug him too, but I don't want to him with a duck. He'll eat my duck. I don't. I don't think Keith wants eaten. Keith does not want eaten. That would be bad. We don't want to eat Keith. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This song stuck inside my head. Of course. Bad one up. Stay out of there. feeling it's going to be on another album, another uh, hard drive. Oh, such. Apparently the bridging does not work as much as intended, so it probably wouldn't matter anyway. Which is actually okay, because that just means I need to play it through, uh, here.
don't blow my ears out. random songs that
eso. I'm just loading some um, uh, playlists. Yeah, I'm gonna 
gonna be mostly needle stabbing this uh, this dude for a minute, but no, you're you're totally always welcome to be here. I also have a duck behind me. I don't know if you can see the duck, but I have a duck behind me. Yeah, there's a duck behind me. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the stabby things in a second. That should be enough to... Yeah, it should be enough of a playlist. Get that bug! Can you get him? I need to fix your beak, don't I? I'll feed him to you! I know that's your favorite! That's fine, honey. You take your time and you do what you gotta do. You know, if you feel like you need a jet, go right ahead and jet, but you are more than welcome to hang out for me for the duration of when you of how long you you wanna hang out for. And if you wanna put some input on what how you want this guy to look, I'm more than happy to take suggestions, because I'm still kinda up in the air in how I'm decorating him. And I have to do this whole horn. In a different colors, I want to do kind of like a spiral, like a unicorn horn, but I'm not really sure what to do yet, and he might get some tattoos, and there's plenty of room for patterning on him, but I don't know exactly what I'm, I'm going to be. Yeah, but no one ever stops by. There's only a very small handful of people that, that really are, are regulars on, on my streams. I don't think anyone too majorly influential anyway. Offering issues. Let me guess, you're trying to play this in like high res? Because that's not going to work. <sighs> Don't try to play it in high res, it won't work. Bad things will happen, and it won't be able to keep up. Every time. 
me so sad. You can't just play things like straight through. It's always like, oh, let's do fancy crap. I'm like, I don't have the internet bandwidth to do fancy crap. felting things and I have a duck and I'm hoping that the stream labs no nope, it's gonna it's gonna buffer damn it oh sadness sadness with buffering stop buffering Pre-roll it. Can I get pre-roll? Oh, oh, I show you what, what I've been working on. Isn't he adorable? I need to make it longer. It's a long song. I'm also adding more animations to it. So eventually it's gonna be like a bunch of random animations. So she'll be able to be dancing. So what do you think, Gamma? That's all hand drawn. Yeah, it's Metallica. It's chill version Metallica. We were discussing this on the on the Sand Art stream the other night, where she had some stuff pop up that was just bizarre, and we're like, "Wait, is this?" No, and I'm sure what it was. It was like Nine Inch Nails chill music or something that someone had redone, and so um, we we're just kind of were looking for some stuff that's uh, a little genre interesting so yeah it's a uh, um, Metallica cover I 
I don't know, even watch anyone watch me for the past couple days, I've been on kind of a, a Metallica variance kick. So yeah, there's uh, there's some variations, but I didn't want anything too fast tonight, just because I kind of I do love this song though. Either way. How you been? I've been Wicked David. Good. Stabbing felt into an eyeball. Trying to figure out what to exactly do with this guy, though. I was hoping to get some suggestions from the stream. I'm also thinking about doing a felt along uh, at the beginning of next month when I have uh, I have bandwidth back again on my phone, so I can actually stream in high quality. Um, and if not next month, maybe the month after, because I was trying to figure out what would be easier if people bought their own materials or if I made like. Um, packets and uh, and set them off. So everyone had the same stuff to start with, and we all did the same sheep together. play though because they're they're trying to play in high quality and I don't have the bandwidth for it.
Because you know I'm all about that beats and about that beats and no trouble. I'm all about that beats and about that beats and no trouble. I'm all about that beats and about that beats and no trouble. I'm all about that beats and about that beats. Yeah, it's pretty clear. I'm just wondering if anyone here has guessed where I'm going with this yet.
stop buffering. There's no reason to. Mm, you're gonna make me skip you. Jerk. I wonder if there's a workaround for this. Because right now we're done. Someone had mentioned that Stream Elements has a cell phone app. Which, that might actually... Hi Keith, that might actually work. I might have to try that next time. See if that helps with the buffering. You can come over here. It's okay, buddy. Okay, fine. 
Okay, fine. So anyway, what I'm now, what I'm doing now is I've uh, decided, since the uh, one-eyed, one-horn, flying purple people eater wanted to be a rock star at the end of his song, I'm gonna make him look like David Bowie from Space Oddity. Nailed it!
now what do you need? Need that tightened up, I think. Get that. Do something with your horn, I think. It's like after nine. So I want to try to finish this up a little bit more tonight and then I think I'm going to go swap over to World of Warcraft, which will end up being more entertaining because if any of you have ever watched me play World of Warcraft, I like to scream at the screen a lot. Um, and when PvP happens, it's either going to be me hilariously dying or completely trouncing people to the point that I would get very surprised because um, I'm not used to be geared as I'm not used to being as geared as well as I currently am, which apparently not everyone is on my server. I felt kind of guilty last night murdering horde, which I really shouldn't, but I did. I feel that guilty wearing the one lobby just because I um, had to deal with that same shit when I was playing at that level.
Oh, heck, if people are interested, I'd be willing to even start a fresh character tonight and just start, like, you know, going through uh, PvE with a level 1. Ten's fine. She'll look back in the conversation and she'll still see ten, even though technically I think she wants her as a breeder, which means I really shouldn't sell her for less than thirty. Oh well.
I'm selling rabbits, just if anyone's wondering. Um, I got a lady that wants to buy a, a doe to use in, as a, a breeder, so she'll be going to a farm home, and not a meat home. A lot of the ones we did today went to a meat home, so they went. And we uh, butchered them and put them in the freezer. This one's gonna get to go on, grow up, and be a mama. He's coming along here. I'm trying to think of what to do next with them. Got a little bit of a space oddity theme going on with the purple people eater. Because if you listen to his song, that's uh, he wanted to be a rock star. Oh, you're northwest of Indy. Do you re you uh, do you realize where I'm at? I'm like, okay, I am way south. I bet you that was that post I did when I was up there. I'm willing to bet that she looked at the GPS location and not at where the ad said it was at. It's gonna be. Uh, I was thinking she was down that area, and I got confused. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm driving. I think I'll pass. Hate to. No, I don't blame you. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Um, I hadn't. I'll let her know. I have another vet appointment. I have. Forgive me. People want to buy things. Yeah, we do a uh, doggy dermatology up closer to her area because she's like, I want to be like Northwest. I'm like, look at this going. I actually have to be back up there. I'm just not up there now because puppy dog has got to go back to the vet, which is the whole reason that I'm posting rabbits for sale because I need to make sure that I have enough money to help cover very, very expensive vet expenses because although they've been extremely fair because they are a specialist, they are still a specialist 
and because they are so specialists, they are still very expensive. But it's okay, because they take very good care of him, and the guy that's been taking care of my Cole has been the person that's, like, in charge of, like, the entire medical practice for this particular dermatology company, and he's been excellent, and so far the stuff seems to be working pretty good, although Cole poops a lot now, and he absolutely despises his lentils, hence the reason why there's a duck with half a beak missing, because he is hungry. And I really can't blame him for being freaking starving, because I'm not allowed to feed him what I normally feed him to keep him where he's happy enough that he doesn't want to eat everything that he sees, including my ducks. So, you do what you gotta do. <sighs> Poor Cole. I wonder if I can get the William Shatner version of Rocket Man to play on the stream. Because that's just gold right there. Do you want to hear Rocket Man as sung by William Shatner? It's a beautiful thing. I should totally. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's just, it's just so, it's just so beautiful. I'm going to add that to Q and then it'll pop up in stream elements, but let me. Screw this. Supposedly there's an app. I have a feeling if I do it from the phone, it'll actually work. Yeah, I know. Yes, come on, open. Stream elements. <sighs> Stream Labs has one. I don't think Stream Elements has one, which is too bad. Okay, that'll do. But hopefully this is low enough quality that I can do song request. No, we tried this one earlier, I wouldn't do it. Well, I'm going to finish wrapping this guy a little bit, and then I'm going to play a little bit of World, World of Warcraft after um, I run downstairs and check if there's anything for dinner. Because Hubby's home now, and he may or may not have been cooking. That'd be awesome if he is, because I'm hungry. Oh, no, there it is. I'm going to move you up. Move up. Ugh, move up. Move up. Move up. Please be low enough. Be low bandwidth. A lyricist whose string of hits in collaboration oh, with Elton Lord. John it's hilarious. has made him one of the world's most popular songwriters. Please welcome Bernie Taupin. No, I don't want this one. Oh no, yes it is this one. Thank you. Good evening. In 1972, when Elton John and I wrote Rocket Man, became very popular among the listeners. Due to the interest in the meaning of the song, now in 1978 at the Science Fiction Film Awards, I am truly proud once again to present My Rocket Man as interpreted by our host, William Shatner. Thank you. <laughs> Just pack my bags. Last night, pre-flight. Zero hour. <laughs> Nine. Okay. So bad. And I'm gonna be high. As a kite by then. Oh. 
miss the earth so much. I miss my wife. Gamma. You just missed uh, William Shatner's um, rendition of the, the Rocket Man. And I'm going to try to finish this little bit of blue on the horn, and then I'm going to take a very quick break and then head over to uh, World of Warcraft and do some, uh, some wows.
throat and made you strong. Ground control to made you strong. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ground control to made you strong. Countdown and change song. Check your ignition and make a strong feel with you. This is ground control to make your song. You've really made. I haven't heard any definite back yet about the felt along, um, but I need to post a poll, like a proper poll, and, um, and then the, I can get a kind of a head count and uh, what people are interested in. But I've only asked a couple of the other streamers, because um, I have a feeling it'll have to be like Minnie or someone to kind of help me promote that a bit, just because they have a better reach. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally up for for doing a, a felt along. I think it'd be fun. Planet Earth is blue, and there's nothing. I can do. I just gotta figure out how much um, putting a little kit would cost. I might just put kits up on Etsy anyway. It might just be a, you know, a fun thing. Thank you, Keith. I needed that. I do have orange. Okay. I'm closer to the golden dawn. Must in crowded uniform of imagery. I'm living in a silent film, portraying him love's sacred realm.
Oh, it's not like it's, your mask can't do anything more than than um, abuse the heck out of a piece of some uh, some st stabby stabby felt. Um, no, I haven't done SOS. I don't think that's not something that's familiar with me off the top of my head. Like I said, I'm probably just gonna um, bounce into World of Warcraft after taking a break. So I'll probably go off stream and then come back um, in game. Um, where I'm hilarious, if you ever watch me play, I think you might have watched me play World of Warcraft last night. Um, I, um, I, I talk to my character and encourage her along because, you know, if you don't encourage your, your dwarf, she gets sad. And, um, yeah, I'm... Well, if you want to stick around for a bit or come back, um, I'm, I'm going to take about 15 minutes. Uh, and about 10 o'clock, I'll probably start streaming WoW because I need some time to clean this up and finish my tea. So I'm actually planning on heading out about now. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to cut stream. I'm just going to mute it, and um, I'm just going to put up a, a quick away. So, and I'll leave I'll leave the the actually can can you um. Uh, exclamation point dance and uh, make sure that um, you can get Maggie to do stuff because I'll go and open a few things up just for testing purposes and then uh... yeah see so people can play with her while while I'm, I'm off so that's fine and then um, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a little bit but yeah I'm probably gonna I'm gonna pop off for just uh, a little bit. Let me. Uh, that one. Okay. I'm just gonna let people know I'm gonna be back about ten o'clock Eastern. I just I'm just taking a dinner break.
I need to, to do a couple more um, uh, movements. I want to do a, a feeding one so you can feed her bananas and uh, I want to do um, like petting and I want to do a couple more different dances. Dinner does not have three ends in it. There we go. Yeah, I gotta put this duck away too. Uh, so I'll be back at... No, I need, need to put one. I'm coming back. Be back 10 p.m. So I'll be... Okay, I'm gonna pop off for just a hair, and I'll be right back. So there we go. All right, I'll be back in a little bit.
Anyway, so almost had enough time to actually eat, but uh, apparently you're, you're all going to have to deal with me eating on stream. I'm sorry. I really do apologize. But um, I need food too, and it took me long enough to make this because the hubby did not make dinner like we thought he did. So I made myself tomato soup. <laughs> I made comfort food. It's comfort food and gaming night. That's what tonight is. So we're going to go for tomato soup and toast. And... Um, I think I have an orange here, but yeah. So I'm just gonna—I'll I'll just mute my my headset for a second, maybe. 